Hello and welcome to Safe Secure Surfing's WebRT Leak Test for ExpressVPN. In this video, we're going to be taking a look to see how well ExpressVPN protects us against a WebRTC leak. We're going to be doing a before and an after test. The before test will take a look at where we're having leaks, and then the after test will take a look at how well ExpressVPN is protecting us from these leaks. We're going to be taking a look at the following metrics metrics for comparison, our local IP address, our public IP address, and our ID6 address. And we'll be using the following three websites to do this test. IPLeak.net, BrowserLeaks.com, and what is my IP address. So without any further delay, let's get started. Here we are at the first of our three websites that we'll be checking to see how much of a leak we have before ExpressVPN has been launched. We're at IPLeak.net. Here we're showing my IP address, my IPv6 address, as well as our local address. So we're going to go over to BrowserLeaks.com next and we'll take a look there and we should see similar results to what we're seeing here. So here we are at the second of our three websites, BrowserLeaks.com forward slash WebRTC. This one just as the one before us, we're showing our local IP address, our public IP address, and our IPv6 address. So next we'll head over to our third website and we'll see what results we're getting there. Okay, here we are at our third and final website, whatismyipaddress.com forward slash webrtc dash test. And in this one, we showed the local IP address and our IPv6 address, and we actually don't display the public IP address for this one. So we'll go ahead and turn on ExpressVPN, and we'll come back to each of these three websites and see how well they protect us from having our IP address leaked, our public IP address leaked, and our IPv6 address leaked. Welcome back. I've turned on ExpressVPN, and I've uh, come over to IPLeak.net. So here we're showing the VPN server that was selected. We're not seeing an IPv6 address and we're showing our local IP address. So we're going to head over to our second of the three websites, browserleaks.com, and we'll see how that how well that one's looking. So here we are at browserleaks.com forward slash webrtc and in this one just as the one previous we're showing the local IP address and then the public IP address of the server that was selected and no IPv6 address is being displayed here. So let's head over to our third and final website now we've come over to our final website, whatismyipaddress.com forward slash webrtc dash test. And this one's actually even revealing less information. We're just showing the local IP address. We're not showing a public IP address being displayed or our IPv6 address being displayed. Now that we've completed our webrtc leak test, I will go and build up a summation chart and where we can take a look and see how we compare overall with all of our results here. So I'll be back with you shortly. I've compiled the results from ExpressVPN's WebRTC leak test both before ExpressVPN was launched and after it was launched. So before, as would be expected from all three websites, we were showing the real local IP address, public IP address, and the IPv6 address. After I launched ExpressVPN, we were showing for the local IP address, it was the uh, the one that was given. Then for the public IP address, it was the VPN server location that was shown. And then for the IPv6 address, we weren't given one at all. So this was looking real good. ExpressVPN is protecting us from a web or TC leak. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and we wish you a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching.